What is an alloy? Of the 115 stable chemical elements which are known to exist 75% are metals. Platinum point belongs to a group of metals known as the platinum group metals and is one of the most important precious metals in existence. Alloying as a technique has been a method of altering the properties of metals since the days of the Bronze Age, which in Europe means that alloying has been a part of metallurgy for over 4,000 years. The simplest definition of an alloy is that it is a mixture of one or more metals and or a non-metal. The mixing of substances happens in precise quantities by percentage of the overall mass and occurs in the molten state that is when the metal is a liquid. The melting point point at which a solid substance changes into a liquid. A PT is 1768 C, meaning that other substances cannot be added to the alloy unless this temperature is reached. Alloying is arguably the most common method of changing the chemical, physical and electrical properties of the metal. Today over 90% of the metals we use are made by various alloying techniques and there are literally tens of thousands different types of alloys and this number increases almost daily. Alloys are not compounds they are solid solutions because the alloy is produced when the materials are mixed in a liquid state and then allowed to solidify. Why bother? The shortest answer is that alloying changes the properties of pure metals meaning that they can be put to more uses. Each alloy is unique because it has a definite percentage composition of each substance in the alloy. It is these differences in composition that produce the different properties. In most cases the alloy is stronger, tougher, lighter, more durable, or less chemically reactive than the constituent elements. In turn, the alloy itself can be further modified by heating or further working. Most alloys are ductile and or malleable. Other alloys are composed to improve magnetic properties or improve thermal and electrical conductivity. In the case of PT, the alloys are designed to be resistant to corrosion, weathering, metal fatigue and extremes of temperature. Characteristics of Platinum Alloys Although the high melting point of pure PT contributes to its relatively high cost, it has properties that make it an excellent material for alloying. These properties can be attenuated by mixing it with elements such as palladium PD and rhodium RH and because these elements have the same crystal structure as PT, the alloy itself is very easy to work by mechanical means. The alloy retains its resistant properties which means that when alloy refurbishment time comes along, the PT allow will not be affected by the chemicals or equipment used. In addition PT has the property that it when it is alloyed it maintains these properties up to a point where 20% of the mass of the metal has been taken up by other substances. This also means that the alloy will not lose its structure up to this point and that other metals such as tungsten W, cobalt company, iridium ear, ruthenium ru, and nickel ni can be added in varying amounts depending on the use of the alloy. For example a pint alloy containing 95.2% PT. 3.0% gallium ga, 1.0% indium in, 0.4% copper q and tin SN is supremely ductile, malleable, and can be heat treated on a structure such as an alloy wheel base to achieve higher strength, durability and resistance. As an element PT is a superb base material from which to manufacture a whole host of alloys and alloy wheels is but one of these important applications.